Under the framework of the EU-funded project Evidence into Action, Applied Research and Knowledge Transfer for the Management and Prevention of Female Genital Mutilation Cutting in the Gambia, the Catalan Agency for Development and UNFPA, Wasu Gambia CAFO and the Wasu Foundation at the University Autonomous of Barcelona is organizing the second international forum on FGM, sequel to the first one held in Brufut, here at this hotel in 2009. This international forum on FGM encourages government, non-governmental organizations, including international organizations and other stakeholders to share success stories, constraints, experience, and achievements, and the way forward, which are born and developed in the Gambia, worthy of emulation across Africa. We all know that in the Gambia, women face an unacceptable amount of discrimination and violence in numerous areas of their lives. And FGMC is sadly still a key issue which has stalled progress towards gender equality. We know that prevalence still remains high globally and decline is much lower than expected, despite tremendous efforts have been done. In the Gambia, with the last estimations in 76.3%, three in four women have undergone the practice in the country. FJM includes procedures that internationally cause or alter injury to the female genital organs for non-medical reasons. The procedure has no health benefit for girls and women. Furthermore, it causes severe bleeding and problems in urinating and causes infection as well as complications during childbirth with increased risk of maternal and newborn deaths. Despite all these heretics, more than two million girls and women have been caught in 30 countries in Africa, the Middle East and Asia, including the Gambia, where FGM is widely practiced. Old stakeholders continue the hard work in the field. New activists have come on board. Several achievements have been accomplished. New challenges have arisen, and old ones still remain deeply, deeply rooted. Female genital mutilation is not only harming girls and women in a physical way, but is also depriving them of their human rights. Their right to bodily integrity, to health, to self-actualization, their right to have a say on decisions that affect their life. A sound evidence and knowledge base of FGMC will be the backbone to any successful effort to make the Gambia a country where girls and women are free from the fear that their bodies will be mutilated or cut and that is why we are proud to support Vasukafo in their effort of gathering and sharing information allowing all of us to have the tools to take informed decisions. It is with great pleasure that Wasu Gambia Kafa welcomes health professionals, tutors, students of health science, judges and magistrates, policy makers, legislators, community and religious leaders, politicians, youth and women's CAFO to the forum. Because FGMC is not a matter of black or white, men or women, young or old, Muslims or Christians. Nobody is an outsider when we talk about human rights. <laughs>